Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes from the 6th to the 7th. My last one was, was for men. I mean, you got the females can certainly watch it, but, you know, we have a man that's, you know, still thinking. So we're going to do another one. This one is hopefully going to be for the women. That's what we're going to try. Okay, what do the women need to hear? What do the women need to do? What do the women need to do? What's what's the message for other I mean that message was for women too, but I don't want you to think that it's you uh you know that it was really for I mean it was it could be for you, but it was it's it's for it's for the men, okay? That reading was for men. We have a man that was thinking, he's still thinking, he wants to go home. Now, we're going we're gonna to hopefully get a message for the women who are waiting for this man who may not come. He may not come. Because he's not mature enough to act with integrity. Remember, we had the King of Pentacles. He's just not mature. He may, or he's in the process of making a decision. He's going to have to do make the mature decision, and sometimes, you know, people don't ever get there. All right, so we'll see what happens. One more message for today. Let's see if we can get a different message for all those people that don't, you know, want to go that route. There's a lot of females that are like, you're not coming back. No matter what you do, you're not coming back, you know? So let's see if we... we oh, reconciliation, judgment. Yeah, you're going to have to make a judgment call. Can you give this person another chance? Is there an opportunity for you to forgive and release and allow a reconciliation? I mean, would you even consider it? Because you're going to have to make a judgment call. It's also about, this is a card of forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed in this situation. Can you forgive? If you can't, then that's something you're going to have to work on because you will suffer through life if you can't. Oh, same position. Same position. This man is going to need forgiveness. For a reconciliation to happen. Oh, jeez, some crow. Somebody loves another person. You know, there's an opera. This, these are both cards of reconciliation. They are. This could be new love as well, but hey. We have this man in the middle. We have this man who has a full cup of love. He does. And he may want need you to forgive him. I don't know. Maybe he just wants another chance. Queen of Wands reversed. He may have been, if you look what's mirroring, you always got to see what's mirroring each other. It looks like he wants to take action. He wants to move in your direction and he may decide to, he may. But he could be dealing with a woman right now that is holding him back. I'm not sure. Now this is negative. This is negative thinking. And maybe he sees you as thinking negatively. Maybe he's like, oh no, she, she won't accept me. Interesting. Strength, yes. So, it's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have the strength to work with you anymore. There was lack of appreciation. This is for the woman. This woman is going to need to find her strength to make the right judgment call, right? To forgive forgive you know she may not dare to 
let this person in because he didn't appreciate her in the past. He didn't respect her in the past. And he didn't put in a whole heck of a lot of effort. And he and she may feel like, oh, this could be a bad decision if I go down this route. Could be a bad decision. She's thinking negative. We have a woman here who's thinking negatively of this man. He probably knows it, okay? He probably knows it. He probably wants to head in her direction, but he knows that she's not thinking good thoughts at this time. Yeah, but he definitely wants to go back, but he she has been deceived and she feels like she's been deceived. She's like, you know, you know what? I'm not going to deal with secrets and I'm not going to deal with shady behavior. And I definitely don't want to compete for your attention. So, yeah. We have, a, we have a woman that is going to have to find her strength and her courage and her willpower to make the right judgment call. Either way, it takes strength to forgive. And for this woman to move to a better place, she's going to have to forgive this man. Whether she takes him back or not, forgiveness is needed. That's the very first card. We, I think that we have somebody that is finding the courage or they will find the courage to make a move. Because they, they see that there's an opportunity for growth here. And there is an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for a new partnership. Whether it is a reconciliation or somebody brand new. There's an opportunity for a new partnership here. Absolutely. With the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Something that has room for passion. Fertility. Love. Emotional support. Stability, security, but it's going to take strength and courage to allow it to unfold. To not let your past deception affect your confidence to the point where you can't accept any of this. There's a woman that lacks confidence in men, period. I mean, or a man. I, I lack confidence. And this man knows it. He does. You know, he's not blind. He's a mature man. He's been, he, this ain't his first rodeo. Okay. But there is an opportunity for some, a new beginning here. A good one. A really new good beginning where the passion can be very exciting. You know, there's a lot of excitement to be had here. There's an exciting new opportunity for love. But those freaking past burdens have to be released. Somebody has to make a conscious change to stop thinking negative, to stop, you know, allowing their own pessimism, pessimism to hold them back from this new opportunity. We definitely have a woman here that is very pessimistic about love. And she needs to make a conscious change to think positive. Think positive. Or stay right where you're at. If you want to continue to think negative and allow your your pessimistic uh, thoughts to hold you back from something beautiful, then hey, you can stay right where you're at. That's your choice. That's your choice. You have this this fear, this fear of 
of getting hurt, fear of the unknown, but sooner or later, you're going to have to make a decision that to change everything or you stay right where you're at. And wherever you're at, it's not happy with that Queen of Wands reverse. That's not happy. I'm not happy where I'm at. So what the hell are you waiting for? You're being held back by your own pessimism and, and you're restricting love from happening. You got to think positive. Right now, we have a woman that is, is trying to protect herself as well. And she's going to need to find the strength and the courage to go a new route, to take a new route. It's not like she needs to turn her, well, I'm not going to change the sub, change it. It's not like, I'll just forget that one. She needs to turn her back on the past and only focus on the future. Leave the past behind. That's what's causing all the pessimism, right? All the past hurts, the past deceptions, the past lies, whatever it is. Leave that shit behind. Focus on the future. Leave it behind. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation here, but somebody's going to have to let go of the past. No shit. What happened in the past is the past. To have something work out, you can't bring that with you. You cannot. You can't. You have to drop it. You seriously have to drop it. Drop it. Because there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here with a, that could lead to a something very passionate and beautiful and full of love. But those past memories of what happened need to go. Forgive it and start fresh. That's a life lesson, right? Strength. Strength to forgive is a life lesson. It is. And maybe that's why you've been struggling all this time. Because you have to learn this lesson, right? You do. Strength. Forgiveness is a major life lesson. And so isn't strength. So, hey. Damn. It's like now... You've been waiting for this. You have. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this opportunity. And now this opportunity is here. It's here. You have an opportunity to get what you've been waiting for. It's arrived. It's arrived, okay? But your pessimism is holding you back. Are you making the right call? Are you? Because that's the question of the day. You have an opportunity here. And it's time for you to realize that. And you, you really need to understand that you have an opportunity right here at your door. It's a blessing. It's brought to you from above. It's heaven sent. It's the answer to your prayers. I was just looking for that other three. I was. It is the answer to your prayers. It's what you've wanted. It's going to make you happy. There's an opportunity for a reunion or a reconciliation, something that you can celebrate. And, you know, some of you be like, I don't want a reconciliation. Are you making the right call? I'm going to label this reading Reconciliation. And if you watched it, you want it. So don't put that down in the comments that you don't want one.
there's an opportunity for love and growth and it's something that you want but you have to stop living in denial you need to stop trying to protect yourself you need to stop being pessimistic and you gotta think positive you are being offered an opportunity sent directly from heaven it's the answer to your prayers you have to find the strength and the courage to forgive and release the past whether this is a new opportunity and it's somebody from a past life or it's somebody that you have been waiting for There is an opportunity here for a true love connection. The answer to your prayers. There's an undeniable attraction to this person. But if you let your negative thinking get the best of you, you will be the one that suffers. Somebody is, is rushing in. They are. Somebody is rushing in passionately. And they're giving you something. And it's something to celebrate. And it could make you very, very happy. It's what you've been wishing for. But your fear of the unknown because of the past, I mean, drop that shit. Drop it. Or suffer. The past is the past. Whatever happened in the past, if you want a fresh start, you have to release it and you have to forgive. And if you can't forgive, then that's your own karma. This is the card of karma. The Judgment Card made Dex, it's labeled karma. If you can't forgive, you will suffer karmically. View from above. Get the big picture. Get the big picture. Don't get bogged down. I'm that in. Don't get bogged down in details. <laughs> Let go of petty concerns get the big picture imagine that you're seeing your life from above only do what is truly important everything else is inconsequential go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is remember i asked you are you making the right judgment call make major life decisions based on this it's easy to forget what the overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival and the ups and downs of life on the, on the road. It's only when the traveler takes time to look at the big picture that he realizes that most worries and anxieties are only temporary. Remember I said you were thinking negative. It's the truth. It's only temporary. Let it go. Imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself if what you are doing now will be important to your future self. Focusing on these concerns takes up valuable life force energy. And that's what's been happening. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life. Let everything else drop away. It says that shit. I said you needed to drop it, okay? 
There's an opportunity for a fresh new start here, even a possible reconciliation. Make sure that you're not letting your, your past hurts hinder you because you can't forgive. Because one of your life lessons is forgiveness. Anyhow, there's an opportunity for love here with growth. But if you think negative, you're screwed. <laughs>